there have been many swing styles that have talked about having an experience in the downswing where you're just letting the club fall. And I agree with that. I think that is truly what the experience is when it's done properly. But in all of those swing styles, a weight shift exists. And so the problem becomes when you shift your weight and you let the club fall, you're going to stick the club in the ground well behind the ball. So the letting of the club fall requires you to also shift your weight back over to your lead side. In the swing that I teach, the weight stays planted on the lead side the whole way through the swing. So then it does actually give you this sense that you're letting the club fall and you can create a lot of power. The prerequisite for that is that your weight is firmly anchored on the lead side. If you were to try to be soft or let the club fall in the downswing, and your weight wasn't on your lead side, the shot is junk. You have to have your weight on the lead side. Once your weight is on the lead side, this is a luxury that occurs, that when your weight's on your lead side, you don't have to swing hard because you're in this leverage position and all you have to do is essentially let the club fall on the downswing, maintain a proper closed position of your shoulders through impact, you're gonna create really good swing path and the leverage of stillness, when you keep your weight still, it snaps the club back down to the ball on its own. You don't have to initiate that action in the downswing. So my sense during the swing is that in the backswing, I feel like I'm driving my weight heavy, heavy down through my lead foot. I'm creating a post. I start with that lead side heavily weighted to begin with, and I just keep driving the weight down through it throughout the swing. If you do, you create this leverage position so that you can be soft in the downswing. 